Welcome to the February the 16th, 1999 taping of It Happened in Grand Prairie. As we bring you the history of our city and some of the very important people that continued to make history and they're making history today. We are very honored during our Black History Month Spotlight to bring you a very special couple from here in Grand Prairie, Texas. John Henry and Ernestine Trim. Mr. John, welcome to the set again. Thank you very much. Yes, because you've been here before, but Ernestine, <laughs> we are so, this is this is your time. first time, and we are so glad to have you Thank with us. Thank you. Now, uh, John was very special in that he was one of our poetry winners uh, back last fall, so he got to be here and spout off all of his good poetry, but we're going to give you equal time today, and we're going to call on Mr. Louis Tovar, our production right. expert, who's going to come out into the... Uh, uh, floor and do some special work for us since our students are off on winter break and we don't have the students from South Granbury High Media class with us today but we're so thankful for Lewis. Uh, Mr. Tovar is very very special and we'd like to start with Ernestine showing a picture of the great great granddaughter give us her name and tell us just a little bit about that child. Mm -hmm. This is our first great great granddaughter. Her name is Jasmine Trim and she is in Arlington Schools first grade. Oh and she is just seven darling. years old. Seven years old. Seven. Does she have any brothers or sisters? She has no brothers or sisters. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Yes. All right. Next I'd like for you Ernestine if you would show your one the wonderful diploma that you got when you graduated <laughs> from high school would, would you show that to the general public? We're going to ask Mr. John to help you facilitate that thing. That is one of the most beautiful things, yes. but what is so exciting, I want you to look at your Shirley Temple curls that you have. Oh, boy. Isn't that? Oh, that? Boy. that is why I said, wait a minute, I, I need to talk to her. Yes, uh-huh. <laughs> She's pretty, boy. I picked her out. I said, yeah. she's got on a great coat and red shoes and a and a great person. I still remember that stuff. Oh, that is great. <laughs> so, thank so, you for thank sharing you. that one with thank us. And, you. and I know you have uh, some more pictures That's that right. we want to facilitate while we have Mr. Lewis as a captive audience here. So, this is the one right here. All right. That's the one. Now tell us, uh, uh, name these people. Then you get the daughter and I get yes. a couple of the boys there. All right, I'll start with the daughter. Our only daughter, Kara. Put your hand up there. Trim. Right there, yeah. Good. Christopher. Michelle Christopher, right. Michael Christopher, right. and Robert Mack right. here in the center. That's the oldest. Oh, that's the yes. oldest. And where do they yes. live? Uh, they live with Cairo. Uh, but in, in what Arlington. town? In, in, in Arlington. Arlington. They're in, Arlington. in the Arlington area. Yes. In well, Arlington. well, well, we're going to have to proselyte them back to Grand Prix <laughs> one of these days, aren't we? <laughs> Michael's in yes. the uh, army now. Michelle's on one just finished high school. All right, and, t and tell oh, us yes. what the other two are doing. Uh, 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 Robert sure. wanted to be the kind of a, like this TV thing. He wanted to be right. kind of a mechanical, and he's leaning toward the ministry. Okay. So he has to kind of figure himself. Between he both of them. Yeah, figuring out those two. Yeah. And, yeah. and, uh, and uh, 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 Michelle decided to work first before she leaped off in this college business, which yes. is a good thing. Yes. Mama's happy and they're both all healthy. Oh, that is great. Oh, That's oh, wonderful. Yes. Let's take our next show and tell. All right. That is wonderful. I have a pick the stuff up. All right. Okay. Now that is a very, very <laughs> interesting board. Mr. John, we're gonna let we're gonna oh, let yes. you help <laughs> do that, would you? This is a I didn't get a sound of this, but I, in her statement she made me what she did with the church. We actually played for our church. We didn't play for money. We didn't say we, we needed our money. They needed the money. We just played for them. God gave us a gift to play and she could play. We played for the choir. And uh, where is she at on here? I'm sitting over there in, over behind the, the trees yes. there. And she, the she's oil. down there. But here we both are. Where is it? Up here. At the top. See, there's her. There's yeah. my wife with our little choir. And I'm on the other end down there. Yes, and what church is this? That's Let's get to Morning that. Morning Star Baptist. And that's the little church behind us that's inside the big church now. Yes. Oh, I see. They built our big yes. uh, multi, not million dollar, but it's a very large, right. over the top of that church because the elderly folks didn't want to move out of the area, so they yes. built it over the top of it. Oh, that's great. That's yes. the architect. And who's this and young this man? this young man is the one you saw one with the glasses a while ago yes. that mm -hmm. went several different ways before he ended up 
doing very good in the, in the, in the army in the overseas, in Korea. Oh, he um, is Korea. overseas. Can you believe that? How wonderful. Right what an now. opportunity he for him. He almost didn't make it, but Lord helped him straighten out. Yes, that's Proud right. Of him. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is really okay. great. All right. Okay, now you have one other thing to show and tell. Underneath the granddaughter's picture, you have a plaque somewhere here. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes, right. yes. Yeah, let's, let's resurrect right. that plaque. Uh, uh, can I turn that around where they can see that? I can see it, yeah. In, uh, in my church, my mother told me this before she died. She said, uh, don't worry about what other people say. If you believe what you're doing, and Lord, let them need you, don't go. So when we joined this church here in 1960, 65. You give us the there. name of it. You yeah. give us the name. Morning Star Baptist. Morning Star Baptist. And let's give and your pastor. pastor. Okay, Pastor Reverend. Uh, at that time, it was W. F. Drake, and now it's Reverend W. Uh, Reverend uh, Christopher. Uh, Christopher Taylor. But I started being a deacon in 1970, and I'm still deacon at the new church. So oh, 28 years as deacon, they gave me a plaque for just hanging in there and not changing every time the church supposed to change. I change. We've been there for all these years since 61 at that church. All right. So now we, we've shown all of our good stuff, I okay. believe. Yeah. Other than we have not mentioned this beautiful painting down here in front of us, but mm -hmm. uh, Lewis is going to get that, I believe, and use that for our closing shot. I get a chance to say something about that. And okay. we'll talk about it during. Okay. All right. We'll talk about that during the show. But That's now fine. let's go back and get That's to fine. our okay. main interview and talk all to right. Mr. John. Okay. Mr. John, I want to know about uh, your genealogy. I want you to give your parents' name, your mother's maiden name, and any brothers or sisters you'd like to name in this documentary. Okay. Um, my father was uh, Clarence G. Tram. He didn't want anybody to know his middle name, but it was Gustavus. He's gone. Yes. Uh, Myrtle Marshall Tram. Uh, one of the mothers of a lifetime that people like say my mother was the best but she was we didn't uh, the discipline was there but she didn't knock us across the room uh and i thought my family was big i had three sisters and three brothers i used to brag on my family of six i got a family of six brothers you know yeah. but uh uh had two sisters edith trim all right bernie's trim uh younger brother maurice trim uh clarence trim is deceased uh was it one Bernice Connie Constance Please let me say Constance. She's yes. my my peas in the pot. See, she okay. and I think a lot. She's to do it. but she's creative and artistic, just like I am. Right. And uh, we uh, grew up through that love. And when mother and dad died, we didn't miss a step. All right, where we all where were you born? I was born in Waco. In Waco, Texas. And soon after that, that's why I called Fort Worth my home. Yeah. Soon after that, we moved yeah. to Fort Worth, and that's why I called it my home. I, I right. think it was like weeks or months. But anyway, Fort, well, Fort Worth my home, uh, and uh, and I was raised up there. And, and you started with, the school in Fort Worth, Texas? James E. Green <coughs> High School. They were going to tear it down. You might not know this, but they were going to tear that school down. It hurt my feelings. But do you know that, that, that thing, both of my schools were saved. They were. James E. was could be torn down. I am terrible. It was defunct. It could be torn down. They say James E. Gwynn making it an entrepreneurial workshop where people can come start businesses and it's, and it's driving back again. How wonderful. I am terrible. going to be torn down on a hill in that area where they needed the school. They were going to tear it, tear it, tear it. And then I am terrible alumni went down to city council. They found some money and refurbished it. I think they're trying to have school there now. They're not oh. using the whole school, but they're using it for elementary, building up to where they can finally use that school again. Where did you so go to happy. elementary school? Uh, uh, James E. Gwynn. <coughs> no, okay. Okay. Was there a favorite teacher or mentor or someone there that really gave you the charge of the light brigade to set you towards your goals and career? In in elementary school, I, I really didn't want to remember this woman, but she is the one that I talk about. And this uh, <laughs> Miss Bell was my Spanish teacher. Yes. And I know Spanish today because of her. She was 300 pounds. And she uh -huh. said, if you didn't learn at least enough Spanish to get along in life, not fluently, she'd sit in our laps. Yeah. She sat in two students' laps with her 300 pounds, and every one of us learned that Spanish. You hear what I'm yes. saying? Yes. <laughs> we learned that, that Spanish. That would do it. And I remember that. Isn't that yes. something? Uh -huh. She was mean, but uh -huh. uh, I remember how she taught that Spanish. Okay. Now, high school is the only place I remember the teachers. All right, t me. tell us about the teachers in high school that were real special. I am Terrell High School, Miss Hazel Harvey Peace is still alive today. Oh, she is. 90 years old. Yes. Just as fast as she can be. Just saw mm -hmm. about two months ago. Miss mm -hmm. Tresvet, 
my other teacher that was over the uh, boys choir that we sang went to preview and won it every year. We were yes. singers, you know. Yeah. But she's dead now. But she let, uh, she let us sing in the choir, and I was in the choir and men's men's group. We won it every year. Did you were you into athletics when you were in school? No athletics. <clears throat> I got intramural football and got hit in the stomach one time. That was enough. <laughs> and I have been hit for about mm -hmm. it. But I'm just the creative arts, the arts, yes. the writing, the painting, mm -hmm. the music, and the singing. And that's what I like to do, mm -hmm. so I'm still doing that today. We're going to leave you right in Fort okay. Worth at that high school All right. in the creative arts mode. Okay. And now we're going to Ernestine, and we want to pick her up. And if you'd look out into your camera and tell us about your family, your mother and father and brothers and sisters, Ernestine. All right. My name is Ernestine Bennett Trim. Okay. I was born in Forney, Texas, but moved to Dallas, Texas. Mm -hmm. The second, all right. I moved to uh, Dallas. I attended uh, Julius C. Frazier School. I had a, a man teacher that I was very fond of. All right. Since that was so far back, it's sort of hard for me to remember the ladies. Yes. But uh, he was a very good history teacher in an uh, elementary school, yes. and I enjoyed going to his class because. I was sort of in a bad neighborhood in Dallas, Texas. Yes. And uh, he would always see that I was, I lived about one block from where he lived, and he always saw that I would get home safely How wonderful. from school. And uh, because of the neighborhood, they call it Southeast Dallas, but uh, the boys were sort of bad in that neighborhood. But he would always see that I would be home, going home safe each day. All right, and that's now, elementary school? That's elementary. Now tell me about high school. Now high school, I enjoyed my high school, was Lincoln High School in South Dallas. <coughs> and, uh, but I was afraid to go at first because they had the thing of putting salt in your head, and I didn't oh want my. salt to be put into my oh, head. Oh, they, they just had <laughs> that to do was that for to freshmen. the freshmen. Yes, yeah. but I had a one of uh, a good friend that was a roommate of my husband. I might be getting ahead of myself. Go right ahead. Uh, uh, for college, but he, he, he said, don't worry, Ernestine, we'll take care of you when you come to Lincoln High School because that is a good school and we will, I will see that no one will put salt in your head. Uh -huh. Who was and, your uh, favorite teacher at Lincoln? My favorite teacher at Lincoln was Mrs. Miss Boyce. I don't know whether she's there now or not, mm -hmm. but uh, she taught me typing. Oh, I great. Was, I was a good typist, 105 words a minute. Wow. So I, uh, I, I enjoyed my typing class. All right, now and, I need to get back and uh -huh. get your mother and father's name. Oh, my mother's name is Ladonia Darnell uh, Bennett, and my father's deceased Francis Bennett. Francis Bennett. Did you yes. have brothers or sisters? No brothers or sisters. I was a twin. You were a uh, twin? Yes. Okay. But she's deceased now. She is deceased. Would uh, you like to name her in this document? Christine. Okay. Christina. Christine Bennett. and Ernestine. How That's wonderful. That's right. That is it. <laughs> that is so, wonderful. So uh, uh, that, that is my family. I had no brothers, no brothers in my family. All right. I, and now that, no now that you, we have you at high school and you're mm -hmm. getting ready to leave high school, have you met John by this time? No? Yes. Oh, wow. How did you meet that yes. rascal? Yes, I met. But I'd like to say something before I get to, All right. to John. All right. Uh, and, and going to, and getting ready for college. All right. right. I did not want to go to school because uh, uh, I, my mother said, you're going to have to go. I'm going to pay this money, and you're going to school. Mm -hmm. I said, no, Mother, I said, please don't let me uh, go leave, because I was one who was very timid. I yeah. had never been away from home. Yes. And Mother was strict on me. Mm -hmm. So I went, uh, she said, well, you're going to have to get you a job. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, I got me a job. I worked at the laundry for one day, and the job was so pressing. I said, I can't take this no more. You were I ready did to not go to go, school. I was ready to go to school. Yes. So I, and, and, and the manager of the place uh, paid, uh, 
$500 for me to go to school. That's How something. wonderful. That's right, a scholarship. Uh, you and got I scholarship. quit the job and didn't go back to get the money that I had made for that one day. So I went to school. And tell us where you went to college. I went to Bishop College. All right, and who and were your favorite teachers there? And oh your favorite my. subject? Oh, Dean Sykes was the dean of the college, and, and I worked at the college. For Dean Sykes. Uh, for, and I worked myself up for uh, the dean of the college, his secretary mm -hmm. left. How and, wonderful. And so I got mm -hmm. that position, and I worked for the dean of the college. That's and right. after I graduated, I was working there on the campus for one year. That and is then I moved. Wrong. To back home to Dallas, but I, in the meantime, I met my lover there. All at right, Bishop. you That's met why him at Bishop. I met him at Bishop. All right, we're going to let him tell about that, <laughs> Mr. John Trim. Uh, how about how about this Bishop College? What brought you to the Bishop College? Okay, that letter. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I graduated now. Some people will laugh at me graduating in 1948, but that's how old I am. Uh, <laughs> I did pretty good as a student. Okay. I was an honor student, not not above honor. And I, I went to school straight through there, and I kept seeing this young lady, like I said a while ago, with a shirt of Temple Carroll, walking across the campus where uh, Bishop College had a circular campus. Oh, it did. And this bell tower was very important. The mm -hmm. bell tower right in the middle. You could see every building on the campus right around there. Mm -hmm. My dorm could see her dorm. And the bell tower in the middle, <laughs> I said, look, can you get her to meet me at the bell tower? Who? Ernestine Trent. But at the bell tower, I talked, smooth talk, and she got to be my girlfriend. Uh huh. So when I left in 52 and graduated and went in the Air Force, stayed four years, I wrote back and forth to her, yeah. recorded back and forth for four years like that, and she finally left all the fellows alone and, and said she'd marry me. So all right. Now, we have you going, leaving uh, Bishop College that's right. and going into the Air Force. That's right. And uh, tell me where you were stationed. I was stationed at uh, 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 Ellington Air Force Base in Houston. Uh, first time I was away from home, but uh, the highlight of that is that I didn't forget what my mother told me. I almost went to, to, to Houston. One of those times, those fellas in the car, uh, convertible, and I changed my mind. Something told me I stayed at home. All those young men were killed in that car. Oh, how sad. They went and got killed. I left there at basic training. Uh, got uh, airman of the month there, st uh, 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 corporal. Went from there to, to uh, Alaska. Staff sergeant up there and stayed there in Wyoming, Alaska, the rest of my career. I was up on top of Murphy on uh, 4,000 4, feet elevation where if you stepped outside the, the, the dormitory, uh, you'd fall down in, in something called tundra. I could have got killed up there. Oh, yes. But the point is, I survived that, came back home, and that's when we finally got married. All right, uh, but now I have you in Alaska. What, mm -hmm. were, what were you doing in the Air Force? What was your career study? I was, I was communication specialist. Communication we're the ones that, in special. case Russia uh -huh. decides that they're going to do this at the United uh -huh. States. We had to warn him. That's right. I see. Okay. And then, uh, and then right. I had to hold. That's right. Had to keep holding the land, writing back and forth to keep her until I got back home. See. We're going to let you uh, rest a minute. And we're okay. going to have to ask Ernestine. Right. While he was in the Air Force mm -hmm. all of this time, what did you do? What were you doing that time? Were you working, or uh, were you still in college, or? Oh. Yes, I was still in in college. All right. All right. Right. At that time, and uh, I. Uh, what were you studying? I, I was studying. Uh, I, I had a business education major. A excellent. Good. And music minor, music minor mm -hmm. and uh, elementary education. Great. Mm -hmm. That's why I was qualified I, uh, to teach in high school and elementary. Mm -hmm. And then after he came back, that's when we got really hooked up. All right. Well, yes. Let me interject one thing. All right. Quick. <clears throat> uh -huh. I made a mistake that wasn't a mistake on one of those furloughs home while I was in the service after I got yes. back overseas. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Her mother wouldn't let us leave the door open to keep privacy, and <laughs> I was in a hurry when I came to my and we, you know, and then my daughter, Kara, in other words, uh, came. <laughs> uh, but when it came on to getting married, my mother-in-law my mother said, you going to marry her or what? 
I had to make my mind up. Yes, make your mind up. Didn't have time to have a big wedding. They made us, she made us with a broom handle or something, go all the way what? down to the Red Courthouse in Dallas. Oh, I know that place. And we got mm -hmm. married at the Red Courthouse. I didn't have much money, I had $3. What a historic place. And she had to pay the rest of the money, so it's because of her we married, if I didn't have enough money. Uh-huh. Well, aren't, you, aren't, you aren't you glad she was thrifty? <laughs> Crack and Jack box ring is all I had, so Good. we got the real my, ring since then. Oh, yeah. Yes. To turn my yeah. finger green. Yes, all but, right. But uh, that's how I got married, huh? Uh, and and, and you married right here in downtown Dallas. That's right. That's right. And, okay. Uh, and, uh, for what, the, what brought you to Grand Prairie, Texas? Mm -hmm. Oh. I was working in Grand Prairie. All I right. started teaching in Grand Prairie. All right. I had a job in Dallas, but I knew John, when after he got out of service, That's he right. would want to teach also. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I chose to come to Grand Prairie All right. Right. to they teach. Would, would and your first and then, teaching position was at? At uh, Delworth. At Delworth? At Delworth. And uh, it was in high school at that time. Yes. And then uh, mm -hmm. at that time, I got pregnant. so. I had to give up my job. That's right. Yes. Because Grand Prairie would not allow maternity. Yes. And now they just let them now. stay there till the day the baby's <laughs> yeah. born. That's yes. right. That's yes. right. Yes. But oh, I, yes. then I Hides got rehired change. again, and and then I chose to work in elementary. Oh, good. That's oh, it. That is, that's and, I, and I taught at Delworth for 17 years oh. under Mr. David Daniels. Oh. That's, that's right. Blessed man. That's mm -hmm. right. Yes. That's right. Oh, that's great. Yes, I'm sorry talented. that he's gone. And but, what grade uh, level did you I teach? I had fourth grade at uh, Delworth then. Mm -hmm. for seven, about 16 years I held that. Yes. And then after integration in 1964, yes. I was moved to Milo. Oh, good. And that's where I was. I had my challenge to teach in a integrated school. Uh -huh. And how did you I make happened, out? Oh, beautifully. <laughs> Great. I was, I was uh, well accepted. Well accepted at that school. As oh, the okay. only. And as the only black teacher at Milo. <laughs> how wonderful! That's Isn't that right. something? And I worked solo oh. like that for about three or four years. Yes. Right. They didn't get another black teacher there but me. <laughs> yes. But I was afraid at first. But right. Were you fourth they, grade at Milam? No, I was third grade at Third Milam. grade at Milam. Okay. Yes, for who, 16 years. Who was your principal? My principal principals All right. were um, Mr. Thomas, All deceased right. now. Yes. Mr. Youngblood, I don't know where he is yes. now. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jackson. Yes. And Mrs. Dale Brown. Oh, uh -huh. yes. Yes. I had four... Four, four uh, wonderful principals. That's you? right. All right. Four. Now we have her teaching school, and here now, you are, just right out of the Air Force. How much time we have? Um, about uh, we have about five minutes. Oh really? Mm -hmm. we'll what else do you want oh, to tell? Oh well, 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 honey, you're gonna have to get in. You're gonna have to get. You're see. gonna have to cut it short. Let me see if I can get this in right quick. Uh, we want to get two challenges in, and not just you know. Two challenges that might help somebody else. Good. I won't, I won't cut it short. We hadn't ever, from that point in, we were living, we were having fun. We were fixing up house and stuff. Yeah. And we lived, 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 lived good for years. Mm -hmm. Here in Grand Prairie? That's right. That's right. We moved huh? from Dallas in 1961, been staying here ever since. Yeah. Well, we didn't have the Lord presented what he wants you to have. Mm -hmm. Her mother was doing good health all of a sudden. That's right. The Lord decided he wanted her mother to have, uh, uh, she couldn't get along, she couldn't take care of herself, yeah. and move her in with us at our house. Mm -hmm. That's a tough one. We didn't know what to do, but mm -hmm. to make a long story short, uh, we didn't have to decide. The doctor, we didn't know this then, made the decision that she cannot take care of herself. And it's some happened to my wife, so we were able to get in a nursing home. That's where she oh, is now. But they wonderful. love her down there, and they take good care of her. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. last, thing I want, last thing I wanted to say, is that uh, I didn't think I was going to survive the scare that we had when I had to do this mastectomy back in December well, a I year did. ago. And anybody else. You would think he had the mastectomy, wouldn't you, the way he's telling this? That's but, right. But I didn't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. I'll make a long story short. I've heard me, and I'm going to call her name, the men that left their wives because they didn't expect that, and he couldn't handle it, and they left. But God kept us together through her chemo and radiation to where right now you wouldn't know where she'd been no 
part time like that because she's blessed us. Yes, yes, yes. How long years, have you been married? 43 years. 43 her years. Dad, her dad said we would be still married over one year. So. Oh, her father. dad said that. <laughs> My father. Oh, <laughs> he was a tough old bird. He was, then, he right? was a tough old bird. Yes, so he was. Very right. So, uh, but, uh, Strict discipline. But I, we don't have where you've been teaching all of this time. Well, I wanted to make sure I got uh, all the teaching, but right quick, uh, I uh, taught at Pinkston High School in, in Dallas for one year. All right. And they didn't have time for me to go through the practice teaching thing where they have a teacher with you. I had yes. to jump right in the water. Oh, my. And the, 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 the choir director of this school, brand new school, didn't have time to get that alma mater together. So he said, Trevor, you got some kind of a little tune we can use until I get a chance? And I said, yeah, I got the little words. Until, and they use it at that assembly, the first assembly at that brand new school. And he did never get back to straighten that out, and they're still singing my song as I'm mother today. If I if, uh -huh. if, if I'm not if I don't forget, he didn't ever change the album. Mother, Pinkston singing my my your, song that I wrote. Song. But that's all right. That's all right. The, the point is, uh, it got done. It was a good song. He didn't ever get back. But they, but I want to from that point, Pinkston one year the co-op program where they worked like Krista Man, they worked with him here. Yes, uh huh. That's what I talked the whole time I was here. Yes. Yeah, but he had the co-op. And Roosevelt, the rest of my time, I worked 33 years at Roosevelt. And teaching retired, what? Teaching the co-op program. The co-op program. CVAE uh -huh. co-op, oh, the work that, program. That is wonderful. Until I retired wonderful. in 1993. And, and you uh, bust yourself back and forth to, to Pinkston from here and to uh, to your other school. To a, a sub, a sub. sub now, right. Uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. I do most of it out here because I'm 10 minutes from home. Oh, yeah. See, <laughs> see and then that's Still so get to teach. Yeah, but I didn't teach anything. I teach uh, Hispanics. To me. Hispanics, uh, uh, Indians in one class, I didn't think I could do that. Yes. But serving, I found out what I missed in Dallas teaching. Yes. Now I feel like I'm a full teacher mm -hmm. after retirement, I find yeah. that out. <laughs> and now that you're yeah. retired, both of you, and mm -hmm. you have such a full schedule doing things, you yeah. write poetry. That's right. And what do you do, Ernestine? I crochet. Oh, well, good. <laughs> crochet. Music. Oh. All the good stuff. Oh, <laughs> we, we, have, we have one minute left, okay. and we're going to let Mr. John have one minute. All right. What are you going to say in the okay. last minute of your history interview? If there's anybody, I mean, black history from here on in, every month of black history to us, because we're using the, uh, somebody from the past to help us move forward. If they want to live past, if you get past 10 years of living together with a woman, you can get to 25, you can get to 30, and you can stay for her life like you were supposed to. We still live each other right now. We still have fun. We yeah, go to right. the park and feed the squirrel <laughs> and go to the movies and stuff. And I enjoy her. Yes. I'm wrong with you. And you're proud of your church. We sit around the round table and straighten those problems out. Yes. And we pray and give God the credit. Yes. And our children, we're proud of all of them. And right. all of those great grandchildren and yes. grandchildren and especially the greats. That's right. And you're yes, working right. on them. I want Here. to thank y'all mm -hmm. so much for coming to share mm -hmm. your life. Thank it's so you. rich and so wonderful oh, and uh, we want to thank you very much for being here it's just been great thank you and i've enjoyed it wonderful but you uh, you have one of the better programs too a lot of people talk about looking at you so i'm thank proud you. of that yeah. thank you and this is ruthie jackson reminding you that history is as we live and do all right <laughs> That's good.